Orleans. Entrepreneur Week is underway in the Big Easy and coming to us live in an exclusive interview from one of his many restaurants. This one in New Orleans, of course, the honorary chair for the event, chef, restaurateur, author, TV personality, all around great guy, Emeril Lagasse, along with Tim Williamson, who is the co-founder and CEO of the idea Village, which is hosting the event. Good to see you both guys. Uh, Emeril, first to you, tell us what you got going there. Well, I mean, uh, we are celebrating uh, Entrepreneur Week, uh, which Tim can talk a little bit about. His fabulous uh, program, a couple of years old now, which has just been great. It's a, it's a great week for New Orleans because we have uh, a lot of folks visiting the city, a lot of students uh, with, uh, from MBA programs. Uh, but for us, also on top of that, as an entrepreneur, uh, this week we're celebrating our 20th anniversary of Emeralds, which is the flagship restaurant yeah, in our organization. That's wonderful. And you still haven't shaken your Falls River, Massachusetts accent, Emerald. When are you going to pick up well, the Big Easy I, accent? I, I, uh, I, well, I, I'll say you all in a little bit. How's that, okay? <laughs> but I, 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 I can't help it. But what I can do is I can cook very New Orleans. I can tell you that. <laughs> there you go, Tim. Tim, is he is he has he picked up at least the cooking style of New Orleans, if not the accent? <laughs> hey, absolutely. <laughs> and, and he's obviously our inspiration. Uh, being this is his 20th year as an entrepreneur, it's such a symbol of this week of New Orleans as a really a national center of innovation and entrepreneurship. We have over 100 people from the best MBA schools and the best corporations, and this week they're working with 350 local entrepreneurs to help them grow their businesses, start, but also position New Orleans as really this interesting laboratory of innovation and entrepreneurship. Now, Tim, I used to work in restaurants. I know they get hit harder than practically anybody during a recession. It's been down all over the country. Yep. Uh, people go into restaurants. How about New Orleans? Are you growing finally, or is it still shrinking? Well, absolutely. One is uh, our restaurants were the first entrepreneurs back, and they're the ones who revived our city. There are more restaurants now than before Katrina, but is the city back? The city is now really this incredible magnet for talent, and we are now looking forward five years after Katrina that we really believe that this place is, is fostering the next generation of uh, economic entrepreneurs, social entrepreneurs, but we are becoming a model city for how do you use entrepreneurship and passion to rebuild an American city. So this well, is a very magical Emerald, moment. Emerald, you have history. restaurants all over the country, from the East Coast to the to the Southwest to New Orleans. How does how would you rate the the New Orleans entrepreneurship compared to other places where you have businesses? Well, I have to tell you, you know, being our 20th uh, anniversary here at Emeralds, our home base offices are here also in New Orleans uh, for our whole organization. So um, I, I want to add to what Tim was saying. I think that New Orleans has really got a serious bounce in their step right now. Uh, we, we uh, as Tim said, the, the restaurant hospitality business is one of the first to come back. I think that the city is thriving. The conventions are coming back. And I don't know if you know this or not, but you know um, uh, the Saints won the uh, Super Bowl. This <laughs> I year heard. Well. I heard a rumor about that. Yeah. No. Everything. Everything <laughs> is working in favor of New Orleans, and we're all praying for. It. I, I happen to know somebody, Steve Himmelfarb, who has a cake house, the Cake Cafe in New Orleans. A lot of people. He came from. He came from the East Coast just to open that shop up. So people are coming there, but are the. Are the customers coming? Are the residents coming back? Because again, there's so many of the residential areas that were hurt and devastated for years. Very much so. Yeah, well right now I think the city is at about 350,000 people. But what you're seeing is we're becoming a magnet for new people around the country who are coming to New Orleans to not only learn from what we've done in the last five years, but there is, as Ermo said, this incredible buzz that we really are in the middle of a very interesting time in our American history. So. The, the, the community's coming back, the restaurants are coming back, and what people are now, they're coming here in a different way because they see New Orleans as this really interesting place that maybe America can refine what entrepreneurship is and how do you basically use passion and talent to grow our city. So we expect in the next 10 years will be the next growth cycle of our city. Well, we I have a lot of sure great, exciting so. things going on. Emerald, I, I, yes, I know we're, we're here to talk about New Orleans, but I know you got a new book out. you got a lot of things cooking. What's, <laughs> what's new in your business world? Well, you know, I have a, I have a new TV show that's uh, going to premiere on April 18th on ION, uh, the Emerald Lagasse show on Sunday nights at 8 o'clock Eastern. Uh, and the new book that you're referring to is uh, Farm to Fork, which is just a couple of weeks away. 
uh, something that I think uh, we could all take a little lesson from of, of working from the soil to the table. So uh, we're going to keep working hard on it and uh, uh, appreciate you guys as well. We're big fans. Oh, good. I'm glad. I, I heard before you went on, we were listening to you <laughs> say, put Fox Business on the TV. Keep it on the TV, all right? Don't just do it right. when you're on. No, 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 no. Exactly right. Guys, it's great to I, I see actually, you. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm actually going to see you in a couple of weeks, so uh, Terrific. I, I, I believe I'm coming over there. You are Thank indeed. You. Yeah, we'd love yeah. you to come down to New Orleans. Yep. I, come on I, down. I, I am going to come down. Listen, with an invite like that, with, with restaurants, it is a fantastic, there is no other town in America like. I'm so glad to hear it's, it's going through a revival right now. It needed it, but uh, it's, it, it can really sustain it with guys like you working for it. Emerald, great to see you. I'll see you in New York in a couple Good of weeks. You. Emerald Lagasse. Absolutely. The chef of the the chef of the world. Who, who doesn't know? By the way, can we get one bam Thank before you. you go, Emerald? Or are you sick of that? All right, here, here we here we go. Okay. Bam. All right. There Fox we go. Business. How's that? <laughs> yeah. Do, uh, bam. Fox Business. I like it. Emerald Lagasse, Tim Williamson. Great to see you both. Thanks for coming in. Good seeing you. Thank well, you. Well, the dispute between Google and China threatening to draw in more U.S. companies doing business there and more Chinese companies doing business with Google.